Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, The Life of Arc. If you guys didn't know already, my name is Jean de Arc, Arc for short. Today I'm going to be doing a nursing style vlog where we're going to learn our clinical tools. Right now on the screen you see a bunch of numbers, monitor, tubing lines, pressure bags and it's like what the heck is this but before we get into that i'm gonna get into the basics oh and use flash i got a new job as a PACU nurse i used to work med surge hence my video before this um PACU stands for post anesthesia critical unit i just couldn't do med surge anymore and um i can make a video about that if you guys care if you guys care comment down below and let me know hey why the heck did you leave your old job go ahead and hit that subscribe button because i'm gonna be bringing more 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 and more content let's get started computer screen to the right is the monitor. The IV pole is used to hang your bag of fluids and also you can put your pump on it. There are a bunch of wires connected to the monitor. The first one is your blood pressure. It basically is the wire that hooks onto the blood pressure cuff and inflates the blood pressure cuff so you can get a blood pressure. It's called the pulse ox. It tells you your patient's oxygen saturation. You basically put the patient's finger into it. This is a five lead ECG. It shows you your patient's heart rhythm. There's also a three lead ECG and 12 lead EKG. There's a little mnemonic. Smoke over fire, so black over red. Clouds over grass, so white over green. Chocolate on the stomach or closer to the heart and then white is always right meaning that the white and the green ones are always going to be on the right you can get an oral axillary and rectal temperature oral is underneath the tongue mouth fully closed no biting down axillary is in the armpit and rectal is in the anus the probe for the rectal is red in color the sharp containers are used to dispose of needles or anything that can possibly poke you here are just a few quick things stocked up in a bay, gauze, blunt needles, alcohol pads, and nasal cannula, and much more. The bag mask is used for rescue breeding or if a patient is not taking breaths, so you want to put it around the patient's mouth, make sure it's a closed system, and give one breath every five to six seconds. So this is a vacuum, it helps with suctioning. As you can see, the top is to turn it off and on, and then a dial to increase it from low, medium, high, um, in terms of how much pressure is being used. You can see it's connected to a tube, and the tube runs to a canister. Uh, that's where the um, whatever is being suctioned out goes into. And then another tube that's either connected to a yanker if you're suctioning someone's mouth. Sometimes it can be also connected to a peer wick, which is something they used to get urine or um, from people who are incontinent. The key to this is that you want it to be a closed system again because if like let's say a top cap is opened or it's not fully tightened, it's not gonna suction. There's gonna be air going in. This is your oxygen valve device. You could connect your nasal cannula to it and it's usually green in color. So before I get my patient, I associate my monitor to my computer. That way their patient's vital signs can automatically be uploaded onto the charting on my computer. And then also I do other change settings like cycling the blood pressure every five minutes. So here's a quick snippet of what a blood sugar machine looks like to my right. And we have the box with all the supplies. It comes with the lancet or the needles the strips, the alcohol pad, gauze, and control number one and two. To do a blood sugar check, you're gonna scan your badge to be logged in, and then you're gonna go ahead and hit patient test, and then you're gonna scan the patient's wrist label. You're gonna ask them their name and date of birth to confirm it's the right patient. However, for this scenario, I'm gonna be doing controls because I can't use a patient to film this video. 
So here's the steps of how to do controls. Usually the AccuCheck requires controls done every 24 hours for it to be usable to use, do a patient test. So to do a control test, there are going to be two control bottles in your pack. It's control one and control two. You're going to start with control one. So you're going to go ahead and hit control test, select control one, hit the strip line and scan the control one bottle. Next, you're going to scan the strip container and then you're going to take a strip out from that container and put in a little hole of that AccuCheck machine. And then the next thing is to put a drop in onto that strip. That strip is actually going to pull the drop for you. You don't need a lot, just a tiny bit. The AccuCheck machine is going to indicate that it has passed, so you're going to go ahead and hit that green check mark and it's going to take you to a page where you select control 2 or level 2 and you're going to repeat the same steps that you did for control 1 or level 1. A patient test is quite similar to getting the control however the only difference is you're using the patient's blood instead of the control liquid and of course you're going to select the patient test scan the strip lot insert a strip into the little pocket and then this time you're going to poke the patient the first blood that comes out of the patient you usually wipe that off with like a gauze and then you use the second drop of blood from the patient to get the blood sugar. So I'm going to be going over a few supplies nurses use on a regular basis. So here's a needle. As you can see, it's color coded. There are a bunch of needles and they usually have different colors. You can see we have a 20, 22, and an 18 gauge. The greater the number, the smaller the size of the needle, if that makes sense. So it's kind of opposite. So for example, 18 will be the bigger needle. So that would be used for a bigger size vein. 22, smaller needle, smaller size vein. They even have a 24 size needle. Okay, so these are test tubes and you can see they're color coded because each color represents a specific test. So you draw your patient's blood and it goes inside the tube and you send it down to lab for the specific test. Make sure you label initial date time all that good stuff with your lab paperwork so here's a bd vacutana um it's a wing needle that basically is used to help draw blood so this is a 23 gauge so again smaller size needle uh, you just insert it into the vein and you connect your vacutana end to a tube vacutana where um you put your tube in to get the blood so to do so, you take the end part of the needle, which is the gray long part. If you can see that, you can see that the vacutainer already has a gray part. So you're taking off the gray one from the needle and you're screwing the other one in. 
and that's how you get your blood and that'll be all for this video thanks for watching make sure you like comment subscribe ask questions and i will see you guys in the next video